Welcome to Rectory's Glimpses into the Classroom video series. These episodes each showcase a unique and tangible demonstration of Rectory's dynamic curriculum. Join me now as we visit Mr. Fuller's Grade 7 Science class, where they're studying seismology and earthquakes using real-time seismographic data. I'm Josiah Fuller. I teach Earth Science here to the 7th grade students at the Rectory School. Being able to go out and use the computer as a tool to take a look at stuff that's going on around the world, kind of get an idea of how to use the computer for research and make sense of it. Hi, I'm Bailey. I'm from Pomfret, Connecticut, and I'm a day student here at Rectory. I'm Noah. I'm a day student. Hi, I'm Cassidy. I'm a day student. My name is Caitlin. I'm from Queens, New York. I'm a seventh grade board at Rectory. We had Mr. Fuller in our earth science class today and we're learning about seismic waves and earthquakes. You can take real-time data from across the world. It really gives an idea of like how every day these kind of occurrences are. I didn't know that many earthquakes could occur at the same time. We were learning about where they're coming from, how they're coming, and how big they are. When we moved to the one-to-one -one program here at Rectory where all the kids have their laptops, trying to find more ways to have them utilize them. We were looking at different charts from certain seismographs, those are the things that measure measure the seismic waves. Seismographs can detect anything, so like the wind might move the seismograph. If there's nothing going on, a seismograph is a straight line. It'll start out small and it'll just go in lines. If there's like an earthquake, it goes like up and down a lot. And the lines on the seismograph are a minute long, so however many lines are how much minutes are. The computer's a tool. It's a great tool because you're able to put up notes, files, links, anything that you think could really help the students understand the material a little bit better. You just toss that out there, you put it on the website, the kids can download it and use it whenever they want. They can go through when they're doing their homework and just take a look at it. He can put one thing up on it and we can do the same thing. We can point to something and we'll look at it a little closer. Looking at it's better for me so I get to look at a bigger screen. He knows when you're having difficulties so he tries to help you as much as he can. They work in their own groups, so the students just keep working as a group. They understand how to communicate, how to plan out things, how to schedule. We do a lot of group work. Well, I really liked my group when I made some friends. I like working with a partner rather than just by myself. The person I'm sitting next to right now, I definitely didn't know before, and now I know her a lot better. I think it's good because we get to see other people's point of view. When scientists are working professionally, they have to realize that the more data and more information that they can come across and that they can pool together with other scientists, it just makes all the information that they come up with that much stronger, that much more accurate. To learn more about Rectory's curriculum, visit the Academic Programs section of our school website. <laughs>